Hello everyone and welcome to a new Mango video or Mango stream. We are playing Mono Green Tron today. This is my second league with the deck. Uh, on the first league we have tried with Karn the Great Creator and I didn't really like it. The first league we went to 2-3, we played against a lot of tier 1, we played 2 Death Shadows, Is it Murktide, Rakdos, uh, Lurus, and uh, it was... Cardigrid Creator was very, very underwhelming. I've resolved it many times, it did very little. So I'm, I decided to take it out. And instead, I'm bringing in four Thraktos, two in the main, two in the side. This card has been fine. Also, of course, like, Burn is a terrible matchup. Uh, but uh, mostly, like, it's a threat. It's a big threat in this format. And it can't come down even post cyber against the old the Alpine Moon and Blood Moon that they bring in against you. Uh, I'm playing Walking Ballista, so no Giganta Companion. I think Walking Ballista is important to deal with the turn 2 Ragavan. Sorry, the turn 1 Ragavan. That's really crushing against you. It, just, it doesn't cast anything, but just... It acts like... A Birds of Paradise that deals 2 damage. So that's really good. We play 4 Relic of Progenitus. I used to play 2 in the previous league, but, and they've been amazing, of course. I play against so many Lurus and Murktide decks. I went at 4 Relic. In the cyborg now we don't have the we have a little bit more of a breathing room in the cyber since we don't have the Congress creator anymore. We have four natural slain, two force of vigor, two got shot. This is my cards against Hammer Time. I only bring in two Tusk against Shadow. One causes up for mill and control, chalice and warping will for the cascade decks. Quite straightforward sideboard. Three uh, three vertical engine, no Emrakul, no Sundering Titan, just a little bit more of a polished list. Less pet cards. Let's go to play with the Tron Menace. All right, let's go on the play. This hand doesn't have Tron. But I've been uh, I've been keeping. I know that I shouldn't. I know that I shouldn't. I know that the old school Trump player would, would would scream at me today. But I'm gonna be starting a new a new world of uh, Tron player keep seven world. And you can be there and be like, oh no, Mega, you should always mulligan to a Tron on turn three. When and by the way, mulligans to four. Four cards. Maybe they play Tron. And now I can go this. I have two draws next turn to get a Tron piece, uh, to get Tron on turn three. But even if I don't uh, get there, I mean, I have a nice, uh, I have some interaction with the Relic of Progenitus. Oh, wow, they might to four and they play a fair deck. Strange. And obviously you can get lucky to do, to do it this way. But if you never try, you can never get lucky, right? So why do people generally hate Tron? It's just historical. It's just historical. Ooh, where's the saga? Are they playing the Greek? Are they playing the Greeks? Uh, the 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 is it is it breach deck? They named Car Liberated. Okay. I go Relic, Xyle, and then I go Vernacle Engine. You don't see many Armor Time now. It's still very popular. Still very popular. 
They have grinding station in the graveyard. If you don't know what my opponent is doing, this is a this is a good deck. I've, I've won five oh uh, one trophy with this deck. Good. I go walking by stuff for four. Give my opponent stuff. And attack with the boom. Okay, all good for now. Yeah, yeah, he's a breach. We, I don't know what it was. Maybe two weeks ago, we 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 trophied it with with that deck. I never played that deck again. I just went one shot, five zero, never touch it again. It was fun to league that. Obviously, this game I played Mario to four. You like my keep? Of course, like this is the classic. Like whenever it pays off, it was like a keep. Whenever it does, they should have mulligan. It, it's it's good. I like I like my keep. I would keep it again. I would keep it again. I like my keep. Hello, my point is on fourteen. Uh, let's start with ancient steerings. Like a tower. When is Nairn Bridge in this side? I don't play Karn Great Creator anymore. Um. I put both. Can put two counters here. Yeah. You take nine. Then I heal Emery, so you don't have mana with the Mox Amber. And then I think I want to leave up rather quick progenitus. What's happening? We're playing Magic the Gathering. Okay, playing against Blue Red Breach. Hmm. What do I want against the Blue Red Breach? Magic the Gathering. Lots of gathering here. We have gathered a lot of people watching. Warping Whale well kills Emery. The last league was 2-3, but I, I think that the last league on my list didn't, wasn't very good. Force of Vigor kills her is a saga, but the problem with Force of Vigor, I believe that whenever I bring in Force of Vigor, I have to bring all the claims. Which is fine, like I can do that. But like, against the Hammer Time, I don't mind sideboarding like these out, you know? So I can't afford to bring in all of these. But in this matchup, I think Carly Berated is still good and Relic is very good. So I don't think I, I don't think I, you, you understand, like I, I don't think I want the Force of Vigor because of that reason. Charlie's on one shuts off 20 cards off my deck. 20! Charlie's on one is an excellent card against my deck. If you ever have a Chalice. Uh, maybe Vernco Engine isn't good in this matchup. And I will say Ugin as well doesn't seem good in this matchup. Charlie's on zero stops the combo, but I think we have enough tools to stop the combo with the relics. I think I'm going to bring in Natural's Claim and Warping Whales. This also exiles Urza.
I have Natural Tron. And I can cast the Claim on turn 2 with the Star. Okay, let's go. They bite into 6 this time around. And they go... Okay, no Ragavan. Very, very good. They don't have Tower. Uh, sorry, Urza Saga, unfortunately. If there is a... <laughs> Hopefully the name Star. Because this is mana ability, so it still works under a pithing needle. If they name star, it's great. Because the sphere is not mana ability, whereas the star is. It's weird. You can't pithing needle a sphere, you can't pithing needle a star. Let's see what they name. On name star. Oh, they can also name pithing needle, which is my classic play. Whenever I play, whenever I register for China Fireball. Oh wow, they named Walking Ballista, okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna start with this for green. Yeah, I'm gonna start with this. Uh, I think, nah, I'm just gonna go Warping Whale. Warping Will this or wait for an Emery? Maybe I'm waiting for an Emery, it's better. Yeah, if I go see those crying for tower, I could have cast it Ulamog on turn four, but I think making a plan for being on turn four, it's too bad. Plus, like, I wanna keep this for green mana. Yeah, so they cast Emery. That's good. And now I can exile that with this. Alright, wow, they got two Breach and a Spell Pierce. Oh, so it looks like they have Spell Pierce, huh? Let me go Exile Emery. Is Carp Alive updated? It's not. I will update it soon, thank you. Draw. Chorus. Okay, now I can search. Oh no, sorry. Let me go Tron. I can go Tron Ancient Steerings. Yeah. Okay, so let me draw a card. Steer. That's good. I'm going to go Ancient Steerings first. I was looking for a Relic of Progenitus, honestly. I didn't find it. What do I want to get here? Because I, I don't want to get Oathstone because I can just get Sylvan Scrying if I want to get the uh, Blast Zone. I'll probably just get Sphere. Cast Sphere. Nitrous Claim again. I'll play Sylvan Scrying. No, oh, actually. Hmm. I definitely want to play Sigma Scrying for Tower to get the Ulamog next turn. Let me go. Sphere. No, actually. Let me go Scrying for Tower. Fear. I want to blow up the needle. I don't think I want. I want to just draw a card here. What can I find? Re I can find relic. Relic might be good here to find.
Next, we have 10 mana. For the Pog. Yeah, Expedition for Ulapog. Yeah, could have also done that. There's a Saga that can be claimed. I'll probably just do it. Station. Mm hmm. Something will be nice. I'll blow up the Saga for sure. And I think a Steam Vents. Could have also been two Steam Vents because I can like blow up the Saga with this. Okay, I don't mind a Chromatic Star. If I go Sanctum of Ugin, I have access to 11 mana. I can go Carly Berate Socket, but I can get Walking Ballista. Is that the Needle? Uh, well, let's start by attacking for uh, 10 here. And exiling 20 cards. They have Blood Moon. No, they have a Pine Moon. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Karn I'm gonna go Karn Like that get uh, another Ulamog I think Oh Peters Okay No, Wilmog Exiles doesn't put it in the graveyard. Metallic Rebuke. Or probably Metallic Rebuke first. Pay three for Kring? No. Then it can go Star. Practice for green. And then I will naturally claim something. What do I naturally claim? If I naturally, yeah, naturally claiming the grinding station. Yeah. Eva Mango, yeah, Eva Mango today with the Tron. All right, I think I got game one. They go breach, but they don't have any mana. All right, I'll update the deck list on Carbo Live. All right, we'll be prepared for a match. Let's go for round two. You can now check the upgrade updated list if you refresh. Okay, new and new turn three Tron. River of Tears, wow. <laughs> you don't see River of Tears very often. You think it's better to run Tron without Karn? Against the good decks, yes. Against the uh, 
Um, Blue-red base decks? I think so. And the blue-red base decks are very popular right now. Wow, they took map. I wonder if they have a shutter effect. Hmm. Oh, Mario, congrats on your top eight of the challenge yesterday. That we have a challenge top eight competitor in the chat. Press down. Ooh. Are they going for a thing in the eyes? Looks like that. Yeah. I don't know, maybe not. The word thing in the eyes and dress don't work is very funny. Oh, no, they don't have it. Is um, thing in the eyes comes to play with zero counter. And then whenever you play a spell, it flips. That's cool. Narset seems bad, but it does mean that... Can't really cantrip anymore. Hmm. Should I get Yavimaya? Maybe getting Yavimaya isn't as stupid as it looks. Obviously, if I. Yeah, I think I'm taking Yavimaya. Because I don't want to cantrip in my turn because I don't draw a card. Hmm. Hmm. If I take, of course, if I tutor up a plant and top deck a large card, I'll be upset. Well, I can just cast that next turn. I'm getting Yavimaya here. Alright, draw a Pog. Now, thanks to Yavimaya, I can cast a double green card. Although, I think I'm just going for a, a Sylvan's Grind. Or the power plant. And I think I'm going Relic of Progenitus. They can now steal the Relic of Progenitus. But I don't think I care. They got counter spell, so they have two counter spell right now. And they pass. I always top the relic. The, the the earliest I can. Okay. Um I think I'll cast ancient searings. Uh I think I'm getting the plant so the next turn I can cast the card. Guaranteed. And now I go plant car, and even if they counter, it's fine. And they play a counter spell, arc may charm, okay. Yeah, for the first, before, no, it's, it didn't matter. If you have my was a forest, it would have been accomplished the same. Except my opponent also has green mana. They inquisition me. I have four cards, one of which is a counter spell. If I cast Ula Pog, I just blow up two lands. I'm not sure how good it is. Maybe I should be waiting to, to get like a cantrip so that I can go Sanctum of Ugin. I don't, don't, don't destroy Narset. No, I think like blowing up two lands is fine here. I think blowing up two lands is fine. And they counter it.
case. Yeah. Bro, wow. Did it bottom? I don't know if they did. I don't know if that did, but there's Ugin. They caught, they chased me. I think they bought him, and I had another Ugin. They must have bought him, right? All right, black is control deck. I have the Butcher of Truth against control. <sighs> Maybe I also have Thrag Tusk. Would we'll take out Oblivion Stone. Yeah, I think this is fine. Just loaded up on, uh, just loaded up on uh, threats. Play set of Thrag Tusk. I think Relic is always fine in this deck. Oh, they have a... Uh, you think they have Spreading Seas. I don't know. I'm not a biggest fan of Oblivion Stone. I'm playing as a control deck. Growing Ghost Stone is... weird. They have Spreading Seas, but I... That natural skin of Spreading Seas... I don't know. I feel like... We don't have pressure. But they don't have pressure. So we can just slowly... Get him with... Uh, Eventually getting Tron. The way I lose, I think it's if I run out of threats, like this game, for example, if I didn't top deck Ugin there. So I think just overloading on threats is, is, is where I want to be. Maybe that... Uh, this program is called uh, Magic Online. Not a very good end, but I play against the Discard Spell deck. I don't mind. Think target yourself for Drowning the Lock? Well, it's not that, I think. It's because if you go Drowning the Lock, you just exile it all, right? In response to the Drown. Okay. Um, I could go power plant go, but I also don't mind to go. Uh, Yavimaya ancient steerings. No, maybe it's better to go power plant go here. Just get the car down if they go Jace the Mon sculpture next turn. I'm gonna get Yavimaya. And then I exile my own graveyard. For drawing in the lock. Play the Cradle of Growth. And I play Ancient Steerings. 
I might get Ula Paw Gear. Those feel very good. A... Yeah, I'll probably cast another Relic. Pass. Then I'm gonna get the um, the missing Tron piece. Opponent hasn't played a spell in five. Turns. Draw. So I have now 10 mana. I could cast Ula Pog and blow up two lands. I think it's not bad. Or I can go just Carn Liberated and then Sylvan's Crying. Yeah, I think I like that. And unfortunately, with Yavimaya, you can't just float a green and a cordless. You have to tap both lands to play this. Sub mystery? No, wow! They have summary dismissal for my Ulamog. This also would exile the ability. Cool. And now I go Sylvan's Crying. And I fetch for the Sanctum of Ugin. Can I pass? I don't want to crack the relics. He played the Chisdom and Sculpture. They knew about my Ulamog. Because the, I, I, I picked it up with Ancient Steerings. This is a very old matchup. Just control against Tron. <laughs> Honestly, I've never been on, on this side before. Uh, now I can go Sanctum of Ugin, Ulamog, they go Counterspell, that's okay, or I can go Ugin, that's probably best, no, that, let's go, let's go Ulamog here. I'm gonna exile Jace, and the... Uh, Watery Grave. And then I sacrifice the Sanctum. Who's the villain in this man? Hunters. I'll sacrifice this, and I, I can pick up Kozilek. Kozilek or Ulamog better? I think I'm gonna get Kozilek. Drawing cards is fun. Pretty cool that your land can turn into a Kozilek. Link to Dust. No, I had my relics all tapped. No, if only I had kept one relic up. They wouldn't... No, it's fine. It would have... Yeah, I know. They wouldn't be able to... Hmm. Oh, I crack one of these. I think I will. All right, so Kozilek, uh, Narsa stops Kozilek. Um, how much mana do I have? I'm gonna go Sylvan's Grind. Resist Tower. Okay, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. 
I can't go. Yeah, I don't have enough mana. Uh, uh, uh um, I'll probably just go for. Can I go for double thrag here? I don't think I can. I can't go for double thrag, unfortunately. Thank you, Kabla Kain. How's it going? Appreciate the sub. Thank you, thank you. Strong's still good. Yeah, I mean, it's a fine deck. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it's one of the best deck, but you can obviously like win a tournament with it. You got the uh, good matchups and the good luck. Okay, so they have Archimate Charm plus Jaystoma Sculpture. Mm, I like Ancient Steerings. Oh wow, Aether Gust. Okay. So I'll go with, I can go double thrag dust this turn. I think it's good. Look at Yavimaya. Eh? Paying off. Paying off big time now, Yavimaya. It gave me triple green this turn, Yavimaya. That's a big deal. Okay. The one card in is just a must sculpture and they have an ancient steerings on top. Yeah, I can go Jason, leave it. No, they draw. Yeah. Yevi Maya Cradle of Growth is a good card in this game. Yeah, I should have taken Uma Mog and not Kozalek. Yeah, we have density of threats, but that's because we 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 sideboard it in this way, I think. Okay, they want to counter this, but we have a uh, we have the relic. Although we will uh, we will not draw a card because of Narset. We resolve ancient steerings. I think that's better. This deck is very threat to dance. All right, I conceded. Opponent played a grand total of I don't know many counter spell one two three four five, but like we have so many threats that you know eventually some of them will stick. Yeah, something resolved. <laughs> Counter Magic Tribal versus tr uh, Threat Tribal. Yeah, this is a cl again. This is a classic Tron versus versus Control matchup. Yeah, as a Control player, you're reminded how much you hate Tron. <laughs> twenty lands, twenty cantrips, twenty end gaming threats. Uh, not as not quite, but uh, that's uh, similar. Yeah. This build looks much better than the one I played before. Concrete Creator is is a strange card, I think. Plus, this build lets you have like a good sideboard.
I really because like again we we had a Karn the Great Creator in the previous league, and it just didn't didn't do it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. All right, let's go. Uh, we don't play Emrakul thirteen. No, no, no. The deck ends there. You can see this the deck list on the screen if you're on stream on Carbo Live. If you're on the videos, you'll find it in the descriptions. Okay, I did say that th th there is a limit to everything, and I think that I cannot keep this end. By the way, we're not playing as any lures again. Okay, this is a mulligan. Right. You go to five, it's not a problem. Okay. Oh wow, two power plan, that's unlucky. Alright, let's keep... Uh, what do I bottom? I might just bottom these. I bought him these. And maybe it's wrong, maybe we should keep a payoff. But the deck is so many pay. Wow, there is all Chancellor of the Forge and Gemstone Covered. That's so many game action they're doing. So I'm playing against. And they exile, yeah. So they get a 1 1. And I'm playing against the. Um, the Four Color Glimpse deck. I'm going to bottom a power plant. Yeah, maybe that was better and keep Ugin over power plant. Could be. Okay, so we assembled Toronto turn three. It was obviously a good draw. They can already go for a glimpse on turn two. That's very early to go glimpsing. But they might. Okay, if you don't know what my opponent's doing, you can you can you can search my previous videos on the channel. You go uh, on YouTube, uh, Andrea Mangucci um glimpse of tomorrow. I've 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 recorded with this deck. It's it's a fun deck. Yeah, there it is. So they glimpse for four. Let's see what they find. Two lands and an ardent bleed. Finally. Finally, somebody breaking on that deck. So, Peter some merda. That was not a good one. Damn. Alright. Let's go. Hard. Uh, I'm gonna start probably by cracking this relic. Draw a card. Wish I had a new in the end. Okay, top land. What time? All right. All right, let's redraw. This is why I love four relics, because you can just like redraw. Ooh, nice. I'll play ancient steerings. That's the Ulamog, the ceaseless hunger. I mean, obviously my opponent bricked. It's not. I, I'm, I haven't done anything on turn 4. It's just they also aren't doing anything on turn 4 because their combo card didn't, didn't, didn't properly function. Exactly, Dr. Cold Dead. This is so much better than Alchemy. It's nice, pure magic without randomness. This game is pure skill. There is no random element. Like, you know, you mulligan to five, keep an awful hand, make a mistake in mulligan decision, get a, draw the perfect card, they do the combo card fizzle. Like, this is all uh, pure magic.
Ulapog, and we win. Where's in alchemy? You like, you like get random effect? What's that? Hearthstone? Ah, ah. Random effect. Ah. You just wanna only play skill intensive cards and have control over everything that's going on. Okay, so Chalice of the Void and Warping Will, as advertised in the, as advertised in the deck tech, it's going to be the um, against Cascade. E basta, perché tutto il resto fa cagare. So let's bring it this far. Uh, I think I want to keep the Oblivion Stone because they just put permanence and, uh, and then we blow them out. Uh, maybe walking Barista isn't good. Oh, actually, Thraptusk seems pretty bad in this matchup. Rare Capuchet is also quite bad. Yeah, I was being sarcastic, as always. The penguin is sarcastic. And now this bar popped up, and I hate it so much. Whenever the space bar pops out, and I can't get rid of it. All right. Um, well, so Relic is bad, but as you saw, you just can't trip with it and go along. No, I think it's fine. Yeah, let's do cyber like this. Mulligan. Let's mulligan. Okay, this is a good end. Let's keep. I have to bottom two cards. One is Relic and two is Sylvan's Grind. Also known as Sylvan Crying. You think they have Graveyard 8? Uh, sorry, they have Land 8. The good thing of Tron is that even if they go up Pine Moon or stuff like that, they keep on playing. I'll play Map. I don't need to play Chalice on Zero yet. Their combo card costs 3 and Seamus Spirit Guide is banned. Wave Sifter, also known as Fish. Fish! Draw. Hmm. I'm gonna go Forest. Still on Crying or Crack the Map? I think I'm gonna just go Chalice and uh, pass, pick up a Except they're on the artifact. Actually, artifact hate doesn't matter. I have a chalice. They have to crack that if they want artifact. Let's go see what's growing. You get the mine. Tower is always the tower chat. Tower is always the last one you get because that's important, okay? Because if you take it as last, you have three mana instead of two. All right, let's hope they don't have an answer to my Chalice of the Void, although they probably have. Hmm, Force of Vigor, maybe. Assuming it's better if I draw Steering next turn, that's a good point. They discarded Valentat Burst and Fury. Ooh, they discarded Valentat Burst, that's a good sign to me. I go mine. I'm gonna play another map and pass. Then I go tower. Although Karn isn't amazing, Oblivion Stone kinda sucks, but I can put a, the Fate Counter on this and then crack. Porca puttana. I'm the great creator. I feel exactly what Khan liberated. This, this deck, by the way, won the challenge.
Oh yeah, I forgot! They killed my chalice! Ooh, that's why you play card in that deck. Now it makes sense. Wow. I didn't think about it. My, my opponent deck won the challenge on Saturday with four card. Wow, that's so smart. I was like, what? Do, why do they have card in their deck? Now it makes sense. Madon. All right, Karn kill Karn. It also grabs Charles from the sideboard. Yeah, but I don't know. That seems a little bit like less relevant. It's fine. It's a great. It's a great tech. I didn't think about it. Sorry. I mean, once I saw the list, I thought about it. But I was like, yeah, that doesn't make. But this one, I think, is much better. We're so dead. What if they don't have the Cascade card? Plus, they might go off, pass the turn, and then they go Bleed and Stone. I think this is the time where I go to the bathroom and let you guys enjoy the show here. All right, I came back. Did we did we resolve? Uh, ooh, a raid! Thank you, Adin. Appreciate it. We have uh, only seventy five thousand triggers on the stock of uh, Omnath with four hands. And then once we once my opponent will manually resolve each and every one of this trigger, they will start triggering the wave sifter. Now they're just legend ruling themselves each other. Honestly, this deck is perfect for the bathroom break. Because usually, like... On Saturday, on Saturday, I streamed the arena open day one, right? And uh, I was going to the bathroom after the matches. And I had then, like, received the email with when they, se when they send you the, the viewers and things like that. And every bathroom break I had, I lost... 450 viewers and it took like 30 minutes to to regain that so it's pretty pretty much pretty much uh, you basically just never can never afford to go to the bathroom yeah, you can also get the man diapers, adult diapers. I went 3-2 in day 2 of the arena open. Yeah, having, play op having opponent play solitaire is very good for content, I'll tell you. Alright, opponent passed the turn. Draw. Ooh, ooh. Okay. But I think I try to go big and stone. The stone. 
Thank you to... Rodrigo. Hola, Rodrigo. Muchas gracias. I don't know, I just assumed Rodrigo is Spanish, but thank you so much. When attacks at all, I rock hard here and crack the stone. Yeah, Alpoil could have killed me with the Chancellor tokens that they have aced, but I mean, they didn't do it. What am I supposed to do? Concede? I only concede it if my life total reaches zero, or my time reaches zero, or my deck size reaches zero. That's it. Maybe if I'm very bored as well. But I'm not bored at the moment. Next turn I'll play Eugene. Maybe I don't play Eugene actually. You don't know who Rodrigo is. Who's Rodrigo? Draw. You don't see what happened. All right, let's go. Enchant Steerings. Ooh, vertical engine. That's good. I can also exalt our graveyard. That might also be good. I'm just supposed to be lane. That's who he is? Ooh. I think I'm gonna get the Verm. I don't wanna play Ugin Chat because I don't want my opponent to attack Ugin with the tokens. I need Ugin to restart after they go off again. They had 13 tokens, but they cast another glimpse. Banning any cards from this deck. Yeah, they banned uh, uh, Ayobugin from Tron. That was a huge deal. My opponent deck is very easy to play in paper. I, I, played, that, I played my opponent deck in paper. In paper, it's super easy to resolve. Online is much harder. How many time do I have left? You can check how many time do they have left on here. Magic Online, this is the timer. This is the cards in the deck. This is the cards in end. This is the cards in the graveyard. Oh, they were in second main, so they couldn't attack. I understand. Oh, wow, my opponent's going off again. This is a lot of permanence. Magical line is gonna crash. No, it's not gonna crash, because they found like 70,000 lands. <laughs> Look how many lands they found off of this glimpse. I guess all they've, all they've left in the deck is lands. Ooh. I think this is my... I'm back, chat.
I run a lot. Good thing that uh, all the things happened while my opponent uh, went off. This is a huge ball. That's a Japanese. It comes from Ultimate Guard Factory Chat. It comes from Ultimate Guard Warehouse. A lot of Ultimate Guard product over here. Freeze leaves? There's gonna be a lot of freeze leaves. Yeah. Like one million sleeves probably. All right, <laughs> I have to wash my hands. I also send the cat upstairs. All right, let's go play. No more breaks now. No more breaks now. Okay. On the play. Strange hand, huh? Do I keep the strange hand? Go through one. I think it's fine. I go turn one map, turn two, crack the map, get the thing, play map go, and then I have Tron on turn four. And then I start cantripping. Liberated. And there's a lot of people that told me to mulligan literally every hand I kept today. I am more in the keep camp than in the mulligan camp. I understand the fear of keeping. It's it's fine. But I think a turn for Tron is okay. You think that it's not like just there's <laughs> magic isn't a game with 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 rules like that. Play map. And uh, let's see if they have a Cascader. If they do, it's pretty good. Load post. Yeah, I have a, I have, a, I have recorded for Channel Fireball. I am... Uh, Three matches deep into mono green, mono green cloud post in legacy. It's gonna be a legacy video about this deck. All right, so my opponent goes off again, and they they don't get they don't get very many good targets. Ends near Ulamog. We'll find it. We'll find it, don't worry. What do they discard? Glimpse? Oh, Nath. Okay. The two Glimpse already here. That's a brick? Yeah. Oh. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna get mine. Now, ideally, I draw Ugin. I don't mind Karin too. Chance of the Void maybe best? 
Hmm. Let's go Tron. And now what? I can't start scan tripping, but I think Car Liberator is still the best thing to do. I can just go car and kill the Rugger and Triome. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start can tripping with the stars. At least once. Because it's free. Once it's free. Now I have to go Karn. Okay, now what do I do with Karn? I could blow up a land. Which is always nice. Then they attack Karn and then have a new one. Yeah, I like to blow up a land with Karn. You think we should play Relic? Uh, I, I couldn't. If I play Relic uh, and I play Karn, I can't hold up Relic Exile effect. I only have 8 mana this turn. So they kill Karn and they attack me down 7. Weird, this doesn't attack. If they go off, oh, they go off again. But they're in second main, so I'm not dead. Okay, at least. How many glimps do they play? Don't they play three glimps? Let me check. Let me check their list. Their deck only plays three glimps. But they also play... Oh yeah, they don't play the five mana thing anymore. They don't play the five mana thing anymore. But this is the last glimpse. If I draw like an Oblivion Stone, I think we win. Did I win last game against the opponent? I, lo I won game one, I lost, I lost game two. This is game three. Draw. Warping Whale, <laughs> too late. This is like the cyber card to counter Glimpse. I don't know if I can do an unboxing stream because sometimes they have like some product that they still need to, um, you know, say to the public. So I don't think I can do an unboxing stream. Anyway, um, I'm gonna start with uh, Sylvan's Crying for a tower. Maybe not. Maybe Sylvan's crying for... Um, yeah, so I have to only beat like the fear, the fear decks now. They can't flash this back anymore. Uh, Chad, this game is difficult. So let's try and think about it a little bit. I can go Sylvan's crying for... Um, Sanctum of Ugin, and I can crack it, but then I don't have that many lands to play whatever I find off of it. So I think I'm gonna just get a tower now. I think I'm just gonna get a tower now. Then I play Car Liberated. And then I exile uh, Omnath. I can play Warping Will afterwards. They don't play the Goblin anymore. The new list, my opponent played Karn. The new list that won the challenge doesn't play Goblin Dark Dwellers anymore. This is my opponent's list. Play Azika's Chariot though. 
Okay. I can go car now. Might be annoying. Maybe I was supposed to crack this. Yeah, exactly. All right. They attack me with this and the flyer. All right. So I can't block the flyer. They passed? Do I want to make a token with this? Yeah, I think so. I don't need to counter any more sorceries because they've run out of limbs. I'm gonna start with Relic Exile draw card. People are thinking that they might shuffle their graveyard back, so let's just clean it. Now I'm gonna go star, crack, draw a card. <laughs> star, crack, draw a card. <laughs> funny, this deck is funny. It just always have the same card. Um, star. Crack your card. <laughs> A relic. Crack your card. Storm, storm count 20,000? I haven't accomplished anything. Uh, okay, I finally find Wugine. 3, 4, 5, 6. Bene, let's play Sylvan Scrying. Challenge of 1 is very good against this deck. I got the Wugine Sanctum. Gonna play Relic. I'm gonna play Sanctum. And I pass. And what have you done, Mango, with your 10 mana? Nothing. I've done nothing. My opponent, they don't have Glimpse anymore in their deck. I don't play Congre Creator. I take five, I get an eight. My opponent has eight cards in it. Such a, maybe just double red, the Teferi, and stuff like that. Play more Wave Sifters. Yeah, I mean, this mana base is not like they can't cast Omnad, they can't cast so many cards. Mm, now they could, I could have cast some. Okay, exhaust your card. Ugin. I go get Ulapog. And Ugin cleans. The cleaning. Ugin. Then I'm gonna go. I don't know. Sphere. Rock draw a card. Ooh, steering. Take a stone. And uh I'll play stone. You hate Ugin? <laughs> That's half for one. The bottom of few spheres, yeah. Looks like I'm on eight. I wouldn't mind gaining a bunch of life, but I don't think I can because I boarded out all the Thrak Dusk. The full four are in the side. Yeah, I don't think I can gain any more life. Good morning, Captainus. 
We went 3-2. Yeah. I, yeah, that went well. Farm grid creator. Okay. Can't use the stone anymore. Wow, you minus. What did you find? Pithing needle, maybe? You know they have whip hog. You got Lucumara coding. <gasps> On a tower? Cazzo. Inquest, I said that. I can't cast. But wait, if I... Oh, no. Wait, you have to leave a meta coding the, the... That doesn't make any sense. Alright, I'll play with a fog. Actually, you just have to float mana first. I guess... Go with a fog. Exile this. And exile, uh... I don't know. If it does nothing, maybe they have a new car. And... Oh, I guess they can fetch it afterward. Alright, whatever. Thank you. Alright, Grandon wins the match. 3 0. 3 0 with Tron. Previous league we didn't go well. This league is going well. You might say because we've added, we've, we've removed Karn the Great Creator, or also because we didn't play anymore against the mono tier one deck like in the previous league. This deck is good. Yeah, yeah. When, when you win and your opponent doesn't go and turn one Ragavan literally every game of every match of the five previous matches, it does seem like a very good deck. All right, let's go. Tron, 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 Tron. Obviously, my opponent breaking on game one and three with with the glimpse is also good. The box, I it just arrived from the from the how do you say the people that the courier? How do you say that in English? No monkey, no worries, right? The couriers? You say the couriers? Post office? It's not post office though. These are much better because the post office people, they always have to make you sign and they're so slow. Whereas, whereas these guys are just, they leave you the thing there and they leave. They go like, bye. Se vedemo. Anzi, se siamo visti. All right, let's go. Join match. Carteiro. Okay, on the draw. No, we went in the 3 bracket against Lurus. All right, chat. I mean, I'm in the, I'm the new, I'm the new age of Tron player. I'm the new age of Tron player, chat. I just keep. You can do whatever you want. I'm the the new face of Tron. Mango 09. Keep. Don't mulligan anymore. Point is lures. That means Thoughtseize. That means... Just don't mulligan. Just, just keep. It's going to be fine. Ooh, Elvish Reclaimer. Elvish Reclaimer. Say it any company? Yeah. We're getting boulders. Yeah, no, my opponent is John Sagavan. But they didn't have Ragavan. Vrennan 6. There is no, there is no wasteland in this format, so Vrennan 6 isn't that scary. I wonder if I should get map down now. Hmm. Hmm. So if I get map, they can't call against command it. But if they don't, it's much better for me. I think I'm gonna get map down. Relic? Yeah, I know it's safer, but I wanna just have Tron next turn. If I keep this in hand and I don't draw land, I don't have Tron next turn. Of course, if they go calling us command, it's bad, but... 
Ab sehr in Sau. The Tron Master Mango Zero Nove. Shadow Spear, okay. They have a fetch in it. They have one card left and it's a fetch. Draw. I get mine. Play mine. I'll get, uh, pr again, probably I don't care about this relic. I'm just gonna go star steering, so I just want lands. I just wanna hit lands here. Power. Nice. And next turn it's Ulapog already if I want. And I do want! I do want, Katzel! Tron, 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 Tron. You think Tron is a good deck to play? It's only good if you don't mulligan literally every hand to three. I think, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. I point it never had Ragavan this league. Never had Ragavan. Imagine if this was like a Dragon's Raid channeler. Alright, draw. Let's go. Tower. Blood fog. Boom! A boom! Okay, what do I exile now? Alright, my mom taught me that uh, Ula Pog has to exile lands. I don't know what your mom taught you, but my mom taught me that. Also, Urza Saga, it's pretty poo poo in that deck, so I think you can keep an Urza Saga. So. Oh. With Mangu's Religion of Never Mulligan, you can make Tron good again. I think so. Oh no, a Pirate Spellbomb. A Pirate Spellbomb chat. <laughs> Ah, Tron, 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 E attack uh, Bren und six. Or do I don't care about the emblem? No, but let's attack Bren und six. And Bren is dead. Play another Ula Pog. It's always fun to blow up lands. And on top are Ula Mog. Always fun. Vigilance? <laughs> And, oh no, I wanted to, ah, I could kill the permanence, because this is indestructible. So you can O stone and the Ulamog stays into play. All right. Don, 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 don. All right, I'm bringing the Thrug Tusk, because we are against now the Alpine Moon decks. What do I take out? I think at least one Ulapog. And at least one Eugene. I think post cyber it's 
it's fine if I just throw him expensive cards because they have Alpine Moon. He has Spirit to make it not indestructible. Oh wow! Thank God I didn't do that play. <laughs> Die. I'm in a Let's go. Yeah, Shadow Spear loses in makes my thing lose indestructible. All right, despite I said to keep every hand, it's it's not true necessarily. All right, this is a keep. I think I want to keep walking Barista. Hopefully, hopefully they don't go um, Ragavan. But if they do, I need a Mod Fanatic on turn two. What's in the box? Nice. This is a free Ragavan League chat. This is a free Ragavan League. In the box behind me, it's a lot of Ultimate Guard stuff. A lot of Ultimate Guard stuff. How every league should be? Right. How every league should be. Uh. Carlo Goif. Sanctum of Eugene. No, Kespiga. We don't the only Trump piece is a tower. Ah! We just get it. We just get like a forest. No, all right. You get an Urza's Tower, man. It's so bad. This steering is so bad. Nah, okay, I get a forest. Terrible. 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 <laughs> Our hoovers of keeping all lands has finally caught up to us. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it could be. It could be. <laughs> uh, what you doing? Ninja? What do you have? You have a ninja? What's going on? Hmm. Alright, good thing my hand is mono garbage, so I can discard everything. Probably discard walking barista. Or I can discard a star. Are we 3-0 with Tron? Yeah, 3 up there. 3-0 up a game. No, I can't discard a star. I need to draw another Tron piece. That's true, Princess Titania. That's true, actually. We, we're losing this game because we mulliganed. I should have kept seven. That's the, that's the lesson. All right, Tarmogoy if deals zero damage. Ballista kills Goyf, but that's in two turns. That's in two turns. And no, that's not how it works because they can just fetch. I didn't have like the mana to go relic blow up great. Wow, that's a lot of goyves for my great relic of progenitor's hand. Okay. Our play.
And I need to have one card in hand. I'll take three. And with four Thragtus plus Cyborg. Four Thragtus plus Cyborg. For exactly the situation. For when I keep bad hands and I don't get drawn. They return loose. I don't wanna suck the relic. I don't wanna suck the relic. I don't want to. I wanna have the relic here for a while. My opponent is like almost running out of things to do. And they don't play channeler, so their graveyard will be kept in check. Toss versus Goy, right. Ragaban? Oh, I thought this was not legal in this in this league. Cha, my opponent's playing Ragaban. What's up with this? What sorcerer is that? That's unfair. Playing Ragaban. He has poor drawn. Alright. Take us out Vernquil. Report them, yeah. Kipios, you're reported for breaking the rule of the league. Okay. Mon Linda. Oh, it's strong. Aloha. Uh, I did. I I didn't mind any land, but you know, Tron. Okay, so I sent to Mugugin. I think it might honestly just be Thrakdos the play though, because I card doesn't do much. Uh, sorry, I I was super hyped, but I think Thrakdos is still the better play here. I guess now I have Relic up, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm happy I hit Tron. This is, wasn't necessarily needed. Obwin and Tharmogryph look very, very sad. I guess that's why Tharmogryph doesn't worth anything anymore. What do you do there? Four green, what's that? <gasps> Eugene! Boom! Ragaban dashed. Pirate spell bomb. A block Ragaban. Take three. You have Lurus in end. It's time for the spirit. Do I want to sacrifice this? Did he die? Yes! Ron wins again! Porca merda, it's 1pm. Alright, I'll finish the league. I'll go warn my, my father that I'll be late 15 minutes. Or we're finishing the league. Because I'm looking to trophy now. One sec. Be back in a second. All right, I, I went to the kitchen, I went to the kitchen, and my father was cooking some fish. So fish for lunch at Mangucci house. Fish for lunch at Mangucci house. Pesce alla griglia. I don't know what kind of fish. Bugs indeed. Bono, yeah. You're calling for lunch. Sorry, not invited. With pasta? No. No, no, no. Fish on the on the grill, like. 
Yeah, yeah, we played with car and we went we went two three. Played no car and four zero. Results oriented. The fact that none of my opponent went turned one Ragavan it didn't have anything to do with the, our result, of course. I think also that we play four Thrag. I think Thrag Tusk is really good, really, really good Thrag Tusk. Is who among this is hunger invited? No, it's too hungry. We don't want we don't want too too hungry people. Look how much they're searching. They're searching for an opponent with four Ragavan to match against us. Let me... Okay, let's go, join match. Bia, on the play. Good end? Yes, 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 yes. Good end. Vamos, vamos, vamos. We'll turn one map, turn two crack, turn three, whatever I draw. Are there any cheap and good modern decks? What do you mean with cheap? A thousand dollar? Is that is that cheap? Opponent doesn't have a companion. So that means maybe no Ragavan. Maybe no Ragavan chat. Oh, might be a uh, top land on turn one! Ah! Ciao de! Ciao! Ooh! End from Call Engine! Alright, up a game! Up a game! Pe pengu! Pe pengu! Pe pengu! Don't leave up counter spell, just tap out. Oh no, you're leaving up counter spell. You're leaving up counter spell, chat. A second verb coil. Hello, uh, boom. Magic Online Clients wants me to win. I appreciate it a lot, Magic Online Clients. Client. I really appreciate it a lot. All right, counter spell. Mean it. They considered the game! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright! Come on! Trophy! Trophy! Alright. We want the fourth rag tusk. <sighs> eh. Okay. What do I take out? I think it's once again Ugin Ulapog. Yeah, I think it's once again that. I don't want gut shot or do I want gut shot? I don't even know my opponent deck. Let's go. Come on, come on, 5 0 trophy with Tron. Also, I lost one game so far in this league. In this league, I lost one game. Hello, what does this hand do? Ah, whatever, it's a keep. I don't care. This is a new face of Tron, chat. Keep. Keep. Don't be restricted to Tron or Mulligan. That's old, that's old uh, ideas. We're making new Tron. Blue Moon? Yeah, Blue Moon is a good matchup. Oh, 
What four drug tusk? I guess I don't have a forest. Mm. Wow, mountain. Natural's claim is for uh, it's for uh, hammer time. It's for hammer time. Wow, petty theft on the star. Against Armor Time, I need to bring in the whole sideboard, basically. The Natural's Claim, the Force of Vigor, the Gut Shot, the Warping Whale. Never played against Armor Time. You have a Mayan End? Yeah, it does nothing against Blood Moon. The Mountain. Okay. Allora. Let's go. Star. Tower. Fetch up Green. Ancient Steerings. Looking for mine or forest? Okay, I find forest. I think I keep forest. This way I can use the expedition map to get the mine this way. And of course, there might also not have Blood Moon next turn. Because I don't think that Blood Moon stops this deck necessarily, as much as people think. You have four Thrag Tusk, and you have basically your deck is like only lands. Wow. Oh, I'm playing as Rhinos. I didn't expect that. Okay. Okay. Here. Draw. I can go forest map. Go. Uh, let me. Let me try map first. Do the force of negation. Now I go forest. Go oh, and then it. Yeah. Rhinos can also play Blood Moon, by the way. I go to 10. Boomertron is 4. Oh, yes. Let's see if they go block. Wow, they pass. Fabian. They can't even cast Brazen Borrower now. Eugene. Eugene chat. They don't even have a tap land. I land the taps. You have Chalice in the sideboard. Yeah, but I, game one, I didn't know what they played. They just conceded with the Steam Vents and Island. I thought they were playing a controller, is it? Okay, I don't think I want to go Eugene. Oh, for sure I go mine. I don't think I want to go Eugene. I think I'm going to go Thrag Tusk. Because Eugene is super... If, if I go Eugene and then force of negation, I lose the game. I'm not a big fan of losing the game. I don't know about you. Allora. Uh, let's just start with the Thrag. Which is also like excellent against rhinos. Puts me on fifteen, trades with one of these, and then I have time to deploy the the, the, the other cards here. Then I go star. And I think I'll crack it for green. Even if I brick, it's fine. Like I trade I draw a card, it's okay. Yeah, that's okay, like I'm on fifteen, even if they like bounce this, I still get the beast. Oh, more rhinos? Am I, am I dead? No. Uh, it's, it's 14 damage. I'm not dead. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, cats, I'm dead. Oh, it's exactly 15. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I'll lose. Even, uh, even, Ugin, even Ugin would have lost. No, I wouldn't have lost Ugin. I think it's still, I think it's still fine. How we play. Well, we're on the play game three, yeah? We're on the play for game three. And we bring in the Chalice, and we bring in the... We bring in the Chalice, and we bring in the... Uh, Warping Whale now. I 
and they take out the relic of progenitus. E mi walking barista fa abbastanza cagare. And I'd rather just... Just have these guys. Yeah. I don't want to draw Relic. I understand it's free, but... Not good. And uh, if they have a Blood Moon, it's fine. We have a, a Bleeding Stone. We just are cast these guys. I don't want to answer for the Moon. Answers from Moon are just too bad if you draw them and they don't have Moon. As much as I love to keep bad hands, this hand just doesn't work. It could work, but I think I'm, it's a mulligan. We have Natural Tron, we have Chalice of the Void, we have Tutto Cast, we have Tutto. Keep. Let's bottom uh, Tower or Ancient Steerings? A bottom tower. Game is very long. We can we can like easily get Blood Moon this game. This is the game where Blood Moon hurts pretty badly. I keep the steerings because I have eight sphere or star to draw. And if I draw the sphere or the star. Good. Clinkill's agent? Yeah, but... There's no Simeon Spirit Guide, so you play this before their turn 3. Was the matchup team of Rhinos, last game of the league. If we win, endless glory. If we lose, five treasure chests and a lot of regrets. We're gonna go Chalice on zero, don't worry. But we wait. You tap, ice. Yeah, ice is good here. You go ice. Yeah, I also made a card. I was really worried about this card. I'm gonna go forest. Ancient Steerings. Allora. I can just get Vernco Engine, because if they Blood Moon me, that's the card I want. I can also get Oblivion Stone, which is strong. If they go Blood Moon. I think I'm gonna get Vernco Engine, though. And then I go Chalice on Zero. If they have a force of negation, they don't. And now they can't cascade because the cascade spell costs zero. They pass. Let's see if they have another fire ice. That's why I kept the tower, by the way, because of fire ice. But I can still cast Burn Coil even if they fire again. Big brain Pepengu. What's the upside of waiting? Whoa. Okay. Alright, they didn't have first of negation, because if they have first of negation, they would have a they would have they would have played it on the on the chalice, so I'm just gonna go Tron the uh, Karn.
Okay. What do I find? Ugin. The one and only Eugene. The one and only Eugene is gonna be what I take here. If they go Blood Moon... Eugene sucks if I go Blood Moon. They go Blood Moon. But if they go Blood Moon, they would have done it in their turn. So they don't have Blood Moon. Die, die, vamonos, Eugene. Go. They could have Force of Vigor, Vamonot Burst. Eh, oh, bona. <laughs> I burn called beast the rhino, so yeah, they haven't fetched you like that blood moon. I agree. All right, they pass. Uh, see if they have a, a top plan for tower. I can still go burn coil. They they know I burn coil, but they don't know I have a plant. Record with four zero game three. Ooh! You tap my tower, va bene! Tron, 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 Tron! Blast zone, if we got... Wait, Kira Blast? Blast zone sucks in this match. Alright, anyway, let's go. Plant, Vern Coil. So, pita questo. You go. <clears throat> Chice is on zero because my opponent plays the card Crashing Footfalls. Their deck is relying around that card. No! For some vigor! Pitching the footfalls. They know I have Ugin. They have three cards in end only. Do you have petty theft on these? Hmm. But I mean, they have two cards in end only. Even if they go Rhinos, I mean, I have Ugin in end. Yeah, Brunko is very powerful. Land. This is the land for the land for Blood Moon. They have two cards. Draw. Ooh, another one. Let's attack first. Arena open, we went 3 2. Let's attack first. And let's play the Burn Coil. Hope you have Mystical Dispute in your hand, opponent. Vertical is in. Go. Va bene, Brazen Bar is all yours. Vern coil, Vern coil, Vern coil, Vern coil. Mountain, you know, so many lands you have. There's two cards in end. That's good. That's a very good news. See, see, take three. I'm gonna go Blast Zone on three now, I think. Draw. Chalice. Uh, let me attack first. Right, petty theft. Take three. Take three. I'm here for five of Tron. Me too. Me too. Me too, chat. I'm gonna hold this. They have one card in end. One card in end only. Trump, 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 Trump. Trump, Trump. Yes! Tron, 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 Tron. Ah! 
That was a good day. Today, I played Tron the whole morning. And I, I had fun. I mean, obviously, I knew it was 